Good Monday, everyone. Good to be back with you all. We've had a, a, a busy weekend with Bigfoot Festival activities, and I sure do appreciate all who um, came out to make that such a success. And, uh, and I hope if you came out, I hope you had a good time. And uh, next year will be our fifth anniversary, so we've got a year to get ready for that. <laughs> Looking at our USA Mortgage level of concern, we're at level zero. We have no weather worries to start off our new work week. Premier Generators brings us our threat graphic, and we have no weather worries today, and we have no severe weather worries for the whole week. And I dare say this will extend on into next weekend. So um, even though the fall is our secondary severe weather um, season, it's not nearly as dramatic oftentimes as our spring, but uh, but it's still a it's still a time to kind of keep an eye on things, but nothing really to keep an eye on these days. And Clearview Closet and Blind brings us the five-day forecast that shows you why I'm not concerned about severe weather for this week. It is hard to get severe weather <laughs> on a mostly sunny day um, that stretches from, you know, we got sunny skies from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I had said that I thought it might be partly cloudy on Wednesday or Thursday, but there might be some clouds float across our skies from time to time this week, but generally speaking, for the most part, skies will be mostly sunny, it looks like. Might see a few clouds on Friday as a disturbance passes nearby, but no precipitation, folks, for another five-day stretch, and it's not looking like any significant precipitation even beyond this five-day forecast. Um, in fact, the 14-day outlook, which can't put a whole lot of faith in out extended outlooks this time of the year, but going on out to 14 days, it's hard to find a significant weather system. Um, highs in the low 70s today, mid 70s Tuesday, upper 70s Wednesday, dropping back down to around 70 to 73 ish, it looks like on Thursday. It had originally looked like we'd be in the upper 60s on Thursday, but that cold front's not going to be as strong. It doesn't look like as, as what we thought it would be. And so, uh, and then Friday, we're back up into the upper 70s. So, not looking for any frost this week either. Um, the closest we would come would be Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and I just don't think we're going to quite get cold enough for it at that point. So, um, a uh, warm afternoons and cool mornings um, will be the rule for this week. On this day in 1987, temperatures warmed rapidly during the day in the southern and central plains. Goodland, Kansas warmed from a morning low of 24 to an afternoon high of 75. That's one of those days where you head out the door all bundled up and you come home in your shorts and flip-flops. 1950, birth, the birth of Dr. Ronald Irwin McNair. The American physicist, mission specialist, astronaut from 1978 to 1986. McNair was the first African-American black astronaut to fly in space. He died in the Challenger accident on January 28, 1986. He had two space flights under his belt, eight days total in space, <clears throat> and flew to orbit on um, STS-41B in 1984 during his career. So an exciting career, unfortunately, coming to a tragic end on that day in January of 1986. Meteorologist Mark's meteorology, warm fronts. We're doing fronts this week. Our first front will be warm front. Transition between a mass of warm air and the cold air it is replacing. These fronts rarely produce severe weather, although they can. They must often produce widespread light precipitation. Sometimes that's in the form of freezing rain or sleet or snow or just plain cold rain um, as that warm front moves through. They are most dramatic in the winter time. So I'll be on the lookout for those as we get some more storm systems one of these days coming through, giving us a variety of weather. You folks have a wonderful Monday and keep looking up. For more weather information, meteorologistmark.com.